In this tutorial, we're going to practice how to read and write three-digit numbers. Let's take a look at the number 384. Well, if you remember, the 4 is in the 1's place, so that means 4 1's. The 8 is in the 10's place, so that means 8 10's or 80. And the 3 is in the 100's place, so that means 3 hundreds or 3 hundreds. So let's take a, a look at the first way, expanded form. So we're going to expand out the number and look at each place and what it means. So what does expanded mean? Well, if we look at this picture of this person expanding out this rubber band, that's what we're going to do with the number. We're going to expand it out like we're pulling out a rubber band. We're not changing it. We're just going to pull out each the value of each digit. So here's my four ones. Here's my eight tens, and here's my three hundreds. So when I write it out in expanded form, it looks like this. 300 plus 8 tens or 80 plus 4. And don't forget the pluses because those are very important when we show a number in expanded form because that's what it really means. In fact, that's why we read it this way. 384. 384. Now what about standard form? Well, that's actually a very easy way to write it out because that's the way you probably see numbers most of the time. 384. And then word form is just like it sounds. When I read the number 300, I would write out what I'm speaking using words and my ABCs. 384. 384. At this point, I'm not so concerned about how you spell it. We're just going to practice how to write out a number and write what we hear our words speak, 384, and we can worry about spelling another time. So let's try another word, another number. Let's write out 562 in three different ways. So here is expanded form. I've got my five hundreds. I've got my six tens, so that means 60, and I've got my two ones. And so notice how in expanded form, I wrote the value of all three digits. Two is the value of this digit, 60 is the value of my six, and 500 is the value of my five. And that's very important that we include every single digit in a number when we write it in expanded form. Standard form is the usual way that you see numbers. And then word form, if I speak it, 500, 62, and I write it out using my ABCs in words. So those are my three ways that I can read and write three-digit numbers. Thanks for tuning in.